All right, how many of us are Apostle Edu fans here? Yeah, I want to see the Apostle Edu fans here. Yes, I like that man. I love that man. I like his sermons. When a man appears, suddenly things will change. It's beyond anointing. It's not anointing for you to do he be sick. It's power. I love his contribution to the kingdom of God. I think he's doing an amazing job, wherever he is. Yes, I mean, so far as prayer, enchanting is concerned. Your breath from a higher plane in the spirit. That man can pray. His sister too can pray. Hey, Charlie. Your love is sweet like me, no, no. You make a promise, then you deliver. You never fail me, no, no, no. What's DJ, please. Somebody change that guy. So they played the song. Uh, he didn't like it, and the scene was not nice. DJ, please, that should repeat itself, please. So, as you can see in the video, it wasn't a nice scene. And then it has sparked a, a, a whole conversation on social media. People are saying they are mine, people are saying whatever they think, and it is wild. So, I'm here to talk about the issue and let us know, let you know what I think about the issue. You back. So the whole issue is that he said he doesn't like the song. That is not his song, and they have to change the DJ. DJ, please, that should repeat itself, please. Charlie, if you know Apostle Edu, you know that you don't have to play this song in front of Apostle Edu. Why the DJ? Why? Well, the song he played, Limo Blaze song. I'll put it down here. The first. Three seconds, five seconds of the song give some secular music vibe, and that is Limo Blaze. No, your love is sweet like me, no, no. You make a promise, then you deliver. You never tell me, no, no, no. So, if you are someone who doesn't know Limo Blaze and you hear his song for the first 10 seconds, you will think it is probably a secular music until you get time to uh, actually uh, digest the lyrics in the song. So, I think for Apostle Edu, I'm sure he didn't know. Looking at the video, on the side of Apostle Edu, before I come to the online conversation, I think first of all, he submitted some songs. Yeah, some people submit songs. So I think Apostle Edu submitted some songs, which that song, Your Love Me Don't Lie, Love, 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 was not part of the songs he submitted. If you play a song like that and, uh, at his wedding, he'll probably think that why are they playing this song? Or maybe Apostle Edu submitted Only Chant. <laughs> Wait, wait, I'm just joking. These all jokes. I'm not sure he did that. I'm talking. I'm focused. More focused on the online conversation that came up. So I think at a point it was it was getting too much. And then Mobles came to tweet that Afrobeat as a movement has been a labor of love. Too many times was I tempted to hang the boots, but I always remember the vision and its and its importance as a kingdom too. One day the body of Christ will re really appreciate it, and we, the pioneers, might not even get the accolades. Very true factors, bro. Yeah, Afrobeat has really suffered. Afrobeat and gospel rap, they have really suffered. And I think I have this problem where people people make it look like Afrobeat cannot minister the the Holy Spirit or cannot minister to people. That's my issue with this whole movement, with this whole conversation. Why do people think that Afrobeat is only slow songs that will, that carries the Spirit of God? Why do people think that? KB. Do you know KB? KB was saved not by a slow song. He was saved by a rap album. He got to know Jesus who you boo. So Falabi Noel. Falabi Noel is not even a, it's not an, an Afrobeat minister, but I just get, came to say something that not every spirit filled and theological sound song has to be slow tempo songs. Factos, bro. Focus on the heart and the message. Focus on the message. Now we can't sit here this will be another topic we can't sit here and say that this jenna is from god this jenna is from dending this jenna no jenna god didn't manufacture any jenna every genre of music you know was developed by humans every genre can uh, minister to a particular kind of people so there was this was by a called out media that guy was very sad <laughs> i don't know why the songs we create genuinely have so much scriptural truth in them yes we may sing it in a way that is vibey but you are young we are not trying we are not trying to be cool it's just that we it's just what we know we want to create spaces for unbelievers to hear this gospel and encounter christ and it works i want to stay on this point because you people there are some places afrobeat music afrobeat songs will enter a normal slow tempo song will not enter if romance is in the bible we can sing about it biblically if entertainment is in the bible we can sing about it biblically 
if power and anointing are in the Bible, we can think about it biblically. If holiness is in the Bible, we can think about it biblically. Balance. Factors, bro. Balance. That the song, does the genre of a song affect its message? No, it does not. It, 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 it doesn't affect the message. It affects the reachability of the song. It just affects the kind of people the song reaches out to. It doesn't affect the message. It doesn't dilute the message. We think, regardless of the genre, the Holy Spirit can feel a song and life flows from it. Yes. Holy Spirit does not only live in chants or oh, tomb. Holy Spirit does not live in does not only live in slow tempo songs. Holy Spirit can live in a rap song. Holy Spirit can live in an Afrobeat song. Holy Spirit can live in an R and B song. Apostle, do I'm sure he didn't he didn't share that. It wasn't intentional. I'm sure, as I said, one of the possible things I said could be true. We need to create the balance because there's some people who can't stop listening to who there are some people in the church and who can't stop listening to Kwame Eugene, KD, or those people because they do not find they do not find songs like that in the gospel fraternity. So that's uh, let me know what you think in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Yes, please. Don't insult me. If you are if you disagree with me, don't insult me. There's only for insult. Just let me know what you think in the comment section and I'll probably do a part of this video if I feel like the comments are too much. And then God bless you for watching. Like this video, share this video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. You can also watch this video here if you like this video. And you can also watch this video if you like this particular video. God bless you guys. I'm out.